is ringing in their summer concert series this summer with some of the best in the mm -hmm. bell playing industry. Artists from all over the world are actually playing the, inside the iconic Beaumont Tower every Wednesday for everyone to enjoy. That's right, but behind the summer concert series is a long history of music. And Claudia Sella got a chance to uncover some of that history as she takes us behind the bell. Let's take a look. For nearly a century, students on Michigan State University's campus have marked their day by the toll of the bells at Beaumont Tower. Since its dedication in 1929, the Beaumont Tower has stood the test of time as a pillar of Spartan strength and mysticism. Its iconic sound rings throughout campus, gently chiming the tunes of history. Well, they've seen so much history, basically, and um, they're still good, they're still beautiful. It's been an icon of the university for almost 100 years. But what is it about this grand tower that makes it both majestic and mysterious? There is that possibility of the supernatural there. Today, University Carolinist John Lehrer is taking me all the way up to the top of the tower to find out. This is a duet from an opera called Lacme, and it is called, in French, Pas de Fleur, in English, the flower duet. Nobody wakes up and says, when I grow up, I want to be a carillon player, unless you happen to encounter one at a very young age. I encountered one only when I went to university. John has been the university carolinist for just under a year. He got involved in the global caroline community after college. I am, I believe, the fifth or sixth person to play the carillon, so not that many people have done it, but of course they are um, pretty legendary names in the carillon community. In addition, John has played bells all over the world. But today, he calls MSU home. He plays here and teaches students to play as well. It's been an icon of the university for almost 100 years, a place of gathering, um, a source of beauty and regularity and familiarity and routine amidst all of the chaos. This is just a really wonderful instrument. He's played a lot of instruments in his life, but says the thrill of playing the carolin is unmatched. Time slows down, you hear everything, you can play really expressively with exactly what you want to produce in the sound. Um, your body may move, be moving fast, but you feel like you're moving slow and have all the time in the world. It sounds beautiful from the outside, but John takes us inside to get the full effect. Um, we're gonna do 74 stairs, which is not trivial. We hike the narrow steps, but before we get to the top, we stop here in this room. Is this where you throw your bad students? Occasionally, but that's just a side effect. Um, the main purpose of this is this is how the bells get up into the tower in the first place. And if we ever need to take them down, they go down through this hatch. We continue to the top to see where the magic happens. When we get there, to my surprise, Carolyn Bells look kind of like a piano keyboard, wow. but John tells me playing them is much different. So you end up playing with your fists with larger arm movements, and then there are these pedals down here that can also be used to control the bells. So you're playing with four appendages, both feet, both hands. The Carolyn hasn't always been used for entertainment. In fact, for the majority of his existence, it's been used for signaling, kind of like the original emergency alert system. Today, outside of the Low Countries, North America has the most carolins, and Beaumont Tower is one of the grandest examples. Um, I consider this to, to be a premier example of it, again, for the tone of the bells, simply beautiful, rich sound. Everybody who's played here so far has been thrilled with the experience including me. Just think how many people in the century have played right where I'm sitting. It's pretty incredible. And I added my name to that list, playing the only song I know how, with John's help, of course. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> what did I just say? Claudia is a woman of 
of many talents. She is. Never told us that she could play. I know. Mary had a little lamb. I love that. Well, to hear more of the iconic sounds of summer concerts, uh, those are going to be held every Wednesday night at 6 p.m. and then goes through August 9th. And you can find all of the list of artists coming to East Lansing on the MSU Summer Concert Series website.